Okay, and I'm back and uh, I think uh, if I get a chance I'm gonna show off uh, Alenis' attack, so... Show what it's uh, called here, so... Yeah, precision, um... If we get precision up to a high enough level, um... There's a chance of uh, making like a fire or water or whatever not affect us. Um, the only kind of downside is that uh, sometimes it will affect us. Uh, but also going to be uh, showing off Vicky. I think I will uh, show off her Blinky Magic one if I get a chance. So. Uh, And as you can see, uh, regular Vicky is not here, but if we uh, go right in front of the mirror, she's going to be, so. Now to do this, uh, we have to have Mio as our support character, so... Because if you haven't gotten Mio by now, then uh, we'll be able to get this guy, so... Um, remember, uh, Mio is in the uh, upper floor of the inn in uh, um, Ixay Village, so... Okay, I have just a couple of more people that I'm going to be uh, going for in this episode, so... And after that, I will uh, go along with the story for a while, so... Because <sighs> I'm kind of sick about uh, level grinding all the freaking time, so... I must have done, like, a... I'd say about 15 hours when my hard drive was down, so. So that's a long time of 
running without uh, anywhere in the story itself. But I, I still have uh, some level grinding that I've got to deal with by people, so... Okay. Now, uh, the next person that I'm going to... Or two people, I should say, that I'm going to be getting is... Uh, uh, here in Alma Keenan, um I do it uh, with all guys in my group. Um, I don't know if... Uh, you have to do it that way, but uh, that's just the way that I do it, uh, just to be sure, so. And uh, when we put uh, Dr. Shuta um, into our group, um, he has an A plus on healing, um, so he is a little better than Mili is in that respect, but uh, he does not have any appraisal, so it's kind of a hit and miss thing with him, so. But, um,. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna warp back to uh, to my place on um, uh, Fred Castle. Um, gonna change out my uh, characters, and uh, then I will just meet you uh, right uh, when I get to the entrance of uh, uh, Awakinen. So I will be right back. Okay. Now to pick up these two people. Um, I thought it was going to be much harder than it actually was. Because the first thing we got to do is uh, we got to go talk to the guy over here uh, sitting on a broomstick, so... <laughs> Sounds really bad, but... And if you see the way that she's dressed and the way she looks, uh, she matches even Jamie in the slut category, I think so. Sorry, I swallowed the white cop drops. And it took me a while to figure out exactly what I was supposed to do here because I, I went up in front of the altar and didn't see anything, so that I had to go get something else to actually be able to see it, but it is just way more simple than that. All we have to do is talk to this girl.
And she says that it doesn't exist at all, so... I thought that, uh... You know, th there'd be uh, more to the story and stuff, but... Uh, apparently not. It's all we really have to do to, to get it to come with us. Well... Actually, I should say them. Sorry, I kind of had a coughing fit, so I had to uh, just edit that out, so... Okay. Don't really have anything else that we gotta do here right now, so... Okay. Now, my next, uh... Two people that I'm going to be getting in this episode, uh, sorry, are, yeah, uh, in Duck Village, um, but to get them, I'm going to have to, um, put Sergeant Joe into my group, so, um, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to warp back to my castle, um, I'm going to put Sergeant Joe into my group, then, um, what I will do is uh, I will just meet you inside Duck Village, so... And uh, back at, uh... Before I get going here, um... Should, uh, point some stuff out first, so... Uh, of course, uh, we can't do this without Sergeant Joe into our group, so... Uh, this is Lance's stuff, so... already showed that thing up before, so... <laughs> Roddy here, um, as you can tell, he's really powerful with magic attacks. Um, the Firefly and Wall Rune that he has on by default, um, he, he just had those when I got him, so... It's not like I went out and put them on him, so... Still, uh, um... The red rune that she has is a more powerful fire magic rune, so... Um... As you can see, uh, she can use Pale Gate, so... Which we haven't run into with uh, runes for them anymore, so... And... It'll be apparent here eventually why I uh, just went with five people in my group and no supports. So, <coughs> so um, that is gonna be for the next person that I'm gonna be going after. I'm hopefully, gonna be getting in this episode.
Alright, almost, uh, almost done getting people for this episode, so. One thing that I do get to say, though, is, um, I've already gotten it in the save file, but, um, if you come in here to the item shop, um, there should be a little girl, um, talking to a dog on the third floor, um, if you talk to her, she will give you a thunder room. Which uh, is a more powerful version of the uh, lighting rune that we could get, so... Um, can't remember if I put it on anybody or who I put it on. I, I might have put it on Fooch, but not totally sure, so... Okay, now to get the last person that I'm gonna get in this episode, um... To enter uh put forth from this side, so and definitely have to have five people into our group, so, so uh, in this uh first little section, but yeah. Okay. Here in the section section uh, se uh, here in the second section, um just in a random battle, in a random random battle, um, there'll be a character that will uh, show up, and uh, usually he will take up the open spot. So, um, I'm almost hoping that uh, he comes in like a first actual attack that we get to here. But uh, if he doesn't, um, I'll at least uh, show up some of the. Uh, Skills with uh, um, Alenis and uh, probably Estella. Um, I probably won't be able to do anything with Roddy right now, so. In fact, I'm almost certain of it, so. Okay. Ooh. Took in a pretty bad group, too. Fire. Yeah, so it won't do anything for me, but at least he has a firefly on, so. Yeah, just about as powerful as a uh, true fire rune is. Not quite as powerful, but almost as powerful, so. I don't know if uh, the precision rune that or precision magic or precision skill or whatever you want to call it that uh, really transfers over to uh, fire attacks and water attacks by the other character, but uh, it doesn't uh, 
Who cares? Actually, if it, if it did, um, it'd make uh, True Fire really worth it, but. Oh, oh well, so... Overkill with these guys, so. Plus, because I have no idea when uh, the guys actually could show up by when I keep uh, or sell my magic card when I really need it. Like, by basically a random boss battle when I'm never here, so. An area boss battle. But, anyways, um. The guy I'm looking for will only show up uh, in this little section. Um, as far as I know, um, as far as I know, I should say uh, he only shows up in this section. So, um, so uh, what I will do is uh, I will just wander around here on my own, um, and whenever he uh, actually decides to show up. Um, I'll uh, get to that battle, so um, I will see you in a sec. About time! Oh, I must have spent 20 minutes trying to find this guy. He is by far the most annoying person to get uh, in the game. Might not be as overall hard as uh, getting Goro or getting uh, Cortez the Seventh, but because he just decided to show up randomly, um, he is freaking annoying to get. So, plus right now he has the blood armor on, which uh, will make him lose uh, hit points after every turn. So. Hopefully we can get through this uh, pretty quick here, so... And once he's with you, uh, he's with you forever, so... As you can see, uh... Not super high in level or anything like that, so... And um, okay with this stuff, I guess. Um, but as you can see, uh, he's pretty low in level, so. <sighs> but uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I am uh, just going to reset. Um, and then I will uh, just meet you with my A-team right, uh, right at the Great Hollow. So I will be right back. <laughs> 